It's a big issue as it is really in all sports where there's potential for people to sustain head injuries and concussion. When I joined GBCT in 2017, I was suspicious that concussion amongst our elite riders was probably being underreported. And I certainly had concerns that when it was reported, maybe it wasn't being managed as optimally as it could have been. So based on my experience of working in other sports and from chatting with colleagues in the profession, I put together the Great Britain Cycling Team concussion management guidelines and you know they proved um, to have gained really good traction amongst the riders, amongst the coaches. I think the understanding of concussion amongst everybody within GBCT is much better than it was five, six years ago. Um, and it's essential because of the potential long-term consequences of, of getting the management of concussion wrong that we make sure that everybody in the sport now is as educated as they, as they possibly um, can be. So over the last couple of years, my role has changed. So I'm now Chief Medical Officer for the whole of British Cycling. I don't just have my role within GBCT. And so we're keen to take all the learnings from the work we did around the GBCT concussion management guidelines and now roll those out, share them across the whole sport um, with the aim that everybody who, you know, who loves our sport has a much better knowledge around concussion than maybe they, they, they have done previously to ensure that everybody's riding their bike safely and nobody hopefully has any other long-term complications that can arise.